changes over here so first important change you have to make select this button and rename the ID whatever ID you can see by default there is a ID button then for this there is a button 2 ID for this there is a button 3 ID and for this there is a button 4 ID so friends this ID is very important attribute of every component so this ID attribute will help us to access this button within the our Java file okay so for this first button I will queue ID let's say I will make it add button okay this name I will specify over now whenever you will try to rename this uh, ID of button it will present you this small screen so simply you have to click on this refractor okay so it will reflect all the changes in all project files accordingly so we have successfully renamed the ID now I will move to the Java file of this main activity okay so this is the Java file of main activity so here you can see our package name then here you can see the different packages that we have imported then here you can see there is a class called main activity which is extending the app comp activity class and in this particular class there is one method available which is called on create so whenever we will launch our activity so this method will get called and it will start the activity main you can see this is the XML file so it will present us this GUI okay why because we are setting the content view as activity main XML file Okay, so this is the basic code available within this Java files now friends here first of all we have to get the we have to get the button so how we can get the button in this XML file so for that I will write here first of all we will declare here private button and let's say my button name will be b1 ok and now here I will write b1 is equal to so I will use the method find view by id and wherever all these components are available so r dot id dot and what name we have given for our button so here you can see the name add button okay now we have to typecast this result into button so for that I will write here button okay so this statement will get the button from our GUI first of all now after getting this button we have to add the event handling related code over here so event handling code so whenever user will click or whether user will tab on our button what's supposed to be happen that we, we are going to specify over here so for that I will write b1 dot set on click listener now this on click listener will be able to listen the event that is tab or click so whenever user will hit our button then this listener will come in picture and here I am 
going to use the anonymous class so for that I will write over here new view dot on click listener and which method we are going to implement so on click method we are going to implement and it requires the parameter that is the object of view class ok now here what logic we are going to write what logic we are going to write so here we will call one function over there one method over there so let's say I will say the name of method will be open add activity so whenever user will click on our button what's supposed to be happen so this action listener will come in picture and its on click method will get executed and whenever this method will get executed we will call this another method open add activity now simply I will write that open add activity code over here so here I will specify our open add activity so I will write here public void open add activity and now in this I will create one intent so how to create intent for redirecting your user from one screen to another so I will write here intent let's say i1 is equal to new intent and it requires the parameter the object of current class then next to that name of class where you want to redirect so what is our name of class add activity so I will write here add activity dot class this is the code which will create the intent and now next to that what we have to do we have to start the activity as soon as whenever this function will get called so for that I will write here start activity and which activity we want to start i1 activity we want to start so this code will redirect our user redirect our user from home screen to addition screen or you can say activity ok now the event handling code we have done now I will save all these changes and next to that again what I will do I will try to launch our application again so for that I will run this application again now here you can see the process has started and now we will get the updated application available within our mobile phone you can see here the application got launched and now we got this first screen over here now if I tab on the addition you can see we are getting redirected to our activity addition operation and now you can see there are these fields available where we can enter uh, the numbers and now friends whenever user will tab on this addition button the result will be displayed below ok now this GUI is working properly we are getting redirected so if I tab on this back you can see we are getting back to our main screen so it is working properly I will click on stop so you can see the app got close over here now next to that I will try to write the logic now for addition so for writing the logic for addition next thing what I have to do I have to rename these all my components again I have to specify the IDs for all my components so for this first one I will make it edit text number one ok so again this refractor screen you will get so simply click on refractor and then next to that for this again we have this edit text number two ok and for button we have this ID button for you so here I will specify the ID let's say sub activity 
instead of that I will say activity 1 add button this will be the ID of my button again it will show you the screen refractor click on refractor ok now this ID we have specified here ok in the same way for this result we have to specify the ID so again I will use activity 1 that is a1 underscore result ok so we have renamed these all IDs according to whatever we want now next to that we will go to now coding here so here first of all I will declare all our component private edit text edit text let's say 81 I will copy this private edit text e2 then next to that private we have one button over there so button b1 then private one text view is there so text view t1 ok all these components we have on our addition activity ok so for that I will write here creating the components so I will write here et1 is equal to find view by id r dot id dot and what id we have specified for our first text field this is edit text number one ok and now as this et1 is type of edit text so we have to typecast this so here I will typecast it to edit edit text ok this is how we will write for first text field in the same way I will write for second text field so there will be t2 and ok remaining things will be as it is so we have done it for both of this our edit text and next to that I will do it for button so here I will write b1 is equal to now we will typecast the result into button so I will again use find view by id r dot id dot what name I have given so I have given this a1 add button ok and last thing our result so there will be t1 as a text view so again I will typecast the result to the text view and we will use find find view by id r dot id dot what name we have given a1 result ok so this is how we will get the all components in the java file first of all now after getting all these components next thing will be regarding the event handling so we have to add the listener for this addition button so for doing that I will write here so here we will write the event handling code how we will add event listener to this add button so I will write here b1 dot here you can see set on click listener we have and now here we will use the anonymous class so simply I will write here new and here you can see in the suggestion view on click listener simply click on it you can see by default code will be available with this on click method now here you will write your actual logic logic of addition of two numbers two numbers ok now next to that here you will need the integer variables for uh, storing the retrieved value ok now two numbers user will enter so that two numbers you have to first of all store in two variables so simply declare two integer variable let's say integer n1 is equal to first of all now we will get the value from the text field so what is our first text field et1 so here I will write et1 dot get text this is the method
method dot to string okay this will return the value whatever user will enter now friends here you can see n1 is a integer and whatever user is going to enter that will be in form of string so you have to convert this string to integer so simply you can use this integer dot parse int this method you have to use okay so like this you will write it now perfectly whatever user will enter that will get converted into integer and it will get available within n1 now friends you can copy this line for your next text field so accordingly I will make change integer n2 there will be 82 so here you are getting the number 1 here number 2 ok now next thing add this two numbers together and store the result so I will write integer n3 is equal to n1 plus n2 and now simply display result where we have to display the result in the text view so for that we will simply write here t1 dot set text what text we want to set and here we will specify result is result is and plus where our result is available so our result is available in n3 but n3 is an integer so again we will convert it to string so to do that I will use string dot value of and here I will specify n3 so friends this is the whole logic what supposed to be happen whenever user will enter two numbers and click on addition button so whenever user will hit this addition button this on click method will come in picture and this logic will get executed so in this logic first of all we are retrieving the value of our first text field that is edit text one then by default value is available in form of string so we are converting it into integer with the help of this integer dot parse int so according to your need you can convert it into different forms so that same thing we are doing for second text field and then here we are writing the formula for adding two numbers and where our result will be available in n3 and uh, where we have to display our result to this text view so for that here we are using t1 dot set text method and this is the string that we are going to display with our result and as n3 is a integer we are converting it to string so string dot value of n3 so this will set the result to text view ok this is how the overall logic will be for addition operation now we will try to check its output whether it is working or not so I will launch now our application again so here I will launch our application again friends you can see the app has opened now I will tab on addition option and now you can see we are getting this activity so let's say I will specify first number as 12 second number as 12 and now after this I will tab on this addition you can see we are getting the result 24 if I change this number again let's say 129 and if I tab again on addition you can see we are getting the result 141 so the basic addition operation is working properly ok the logic whatever we have written it is working correctly so I will simply stop this now and you can see on screen the app has closed 